the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Wednesday, the 28th of October. I'm James Spann. Clouds probably hanging tough today. I think we start to see the sun tomorrow, and Friday looks to be a beautiful day, but more rain due in here late in the weekend. A very active pattern. Let's go in there and take a look. We have a big trough axis west of the state, and really until that thing gets to the east of here, we'll stay mostly cloudy with a little rain at times. In fact, that was the radar early this morning at uh, 523. It's still raining uh, over a pretty good chunk of north central Alabama. To start the day, we think this batch of rain will be pretty much over by mid to late morning and the afternoon dry, but not so sure we see any sun. Maybe, but probably not. Starting off the day in the 60s, these numbers have been rising overnight. Uh, some Folks north of Birmingham were in the 50s all day yesterday. Coleman is inched up to 61. Birmingham is up to 65. And uh, there is a, a pretty decent chance we'll see highs up in the low 70s today, maybe mid-70s in spots. That's a watch warning map around the nation. Things fairly quiet. We note some frost and freeze warnings for parts of Kansas. And uh, looks like uh, winter weather advisories, maybe. For parts of Colorado, they've had some snow, especially in the mountains there. I think that's mainly a frost advisory for the plains. Here's the severe weather outlook, convective outlook today and tonight. There is a marginal severe weather risk from near Savannah, Georgia to Boston. And uh, that covers much of the East Coast. It's a high shear, low cape type event. Uh, some storms in there could produce strong gusty winds, maybe a small tornado in a few spots. But uh, not here. No severe weather risk here. And I don't think we have any thunder. Tomorrow, a marginal risk for the coast of New England. And on day three, which is Friday, a marginal severe weather risk for a pretty good chunk of the state of Texas. And we're going to watch that system. And uh, we might see some strong storms here Sunday, as you'll see. This is the rain for the next five days. Numbers are coming up. This is valid through Monday morning. And, of course, this counts the rain we get uh, today, early tomorrow morning. But uh, most of this will come from the system over the weekend, Saturday night and Sunday. It's got a bullseye around Selma at 3.4 inches. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06Z run, valid today at 1 o'clock. The trough axis is west of the state that thing is negative tilt and a very deep surface low is around green bay wisconsin 989 millibars and again we've got this light rain this morning that should diminish however uh, the high res her model still showing maybe a few showers trying to hang on this afternoon this is valid at two o'clock today so uh, more than likely, the clouds stick around. We had some hope the sun might break out today. I'm not as optimistic this morning after looking at all of this. And uh, some light rain this morning and maybe a few isolated showers this afternoon. Now, this is tomorrow. Uh, the synoptic scale here at 1 o'clock, there's a surface front coming through early in the morning. This is the high-res NAM tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock. And on that front, uh, it's got a batch of showers coming through. And I guess there might even be some thunder with this since it doesn't look like a lot of the moisture is going to be swept out. So early in the morning, there's a chance we could see some rain. But by 11 o'clock, all of that is well to the south and east of our part of the state. Still maybe some showers late tomorrow morning. <coughs> Excuse me, south of a line from near Heflin to Verbena to Selma. But I think tomorrow afternoon, the sky becomes partly to mostly sunny. And here's your nice day. This is Friday. That'll be glorious. Uh, the sky will be sunny. We start the day in the 40s. The high will be around 70. The humidity will be low. Cobalt blue sky, fall colors. Oh, it's going to be a great day. But we note the new system west of the state. And this is Saturday as the weekend begins. Halloween. Got a uh, 1,004 millibar surface low that's near Tyler, Texas. And a lot of rain west of the state, and all of a sudden, the GFS a little faster. We're getting closer here, so confidence is getting higher. Uh, I think uh, we get in the football games with no rain. We've got Auburn Ole Miss at Jordan-Hare Stadium, the Magic City Classic at Legion Field in Birmingham, and those are, uh, you know, Saturday afternoon games. Uh, Auburn's at 11 o'clock, the Magic City Classic's at 2.30, but it sure looks like that rain could arrive by late afternoon. Now, this is Saturday night, uh, just after midnight, 1 a.m., and everybody goes wet and 
probably some thunder. But uh, I don't know. That rain could start in the 4 to 7 p.m. time frame easily for most of you. So it might be hard to get the uh, trick-or-treat stuff in without wet weather. But that looks very wet. And, uh, again, this is Sunday at 1 o'clock. And the question is, could there be some severe weather with this thing? Uh, This is Sunday at 1 showing the CAPE, the convective available potential energy, the instability, the ability of air parcels to rise freely. And the CAPEs ramp up to over 1,000 joules uh, during the day Sunday. Uh, That's not overwhelming, but we all know, you know, you can have these high shear, low CAPE type events. So, Uh, I think by tomorrow we can start taking a closer look at this. For now, I'd say it's not a classic severe weather setup with marginal instability values. But again, tomorrow morning we'll have a much better idea. But certainly a strong storm is possible on Sunday. And this is Monday. That feature is out of here. We should begin to see some clearing. The high will be in the 70s. And uh, this is Tuesday. We're dry. Highs in the... uh, Mid, maybe upper 70s with the with the ridge. In fact, look at Wednesday. I've got this 588 ridge here across the southeast, a big cold trough in the west. And for us, that looks dry and very mild. Highs well up in the 70s. Snow in the western mountains, a lot of snow. In fact, look at North Dakota, Montana. Uh, this could be their first really big snow of the season with that big trough there. Uh, some rain and storms across the plain states but again we're dry this is the end of next week this is friday the 6th troughing kind of shearing out lifting out and that shows a band of showers just north and west of here temperatures for the next 15 days a little above average next week highs up in the uh, mid 70s and lows around 60 as the month of november begins our average high drops in the upper 60s here and we do see temperatures going back in the 60s by around november 10th through the 12th, but obviously nothing uh, you know, really cold with a pattern like this. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.